Yeah, watch out. You know, he just like every other coach can't stand when the defense gives up points on the inside, and that can't continue. I mean, if they hope to get back in this game, I mean, it's really deflating from a morale standpoint. They need stops and points. Totally out of sync. I mean, you can just see it in the numbers. Nothing going down for him right now. The Warriors shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. Point blank. Five straight buckets conceded in transition. Greg, and it starts with court balance, I think. Typically, the guards have to be alert and ready to prevent the runouts and that first initial point of attack. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. On the free throw, no goes on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. He had a defender all over. Greg, he got in good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Warriors have shot two and three from the free throw line tonight. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. the charity stripe in this one up to now. Another trip to the stripe. Free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. The Warriors have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And that one misses. Warriors ahead, running away with it. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Kenny, the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. We'll be looking back at the game's first half. So it's Golden State who's out on top at the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Let's start with you, Kenny. What did you think? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track meet. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Pelicans. Well, first of all, as cold as they've been from the floor, I can't say I'm surprised by the score. You cannot shoot the ball that poorly and expect to be in the game, Ernie. They need better ball movement. If their offense stays this stagnant, they can forget about a comeback. And that's going to do it for now as the second half is almost ready to get started. Back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We're going to sit right here and wait for the end of the game and talk at you again. Shoot two. Willis. This is his first free throw of the game. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. And he can't hit the second. 
How about the concentration? He oh, gets wow. hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. Innovation and improvisation right there, Greg. Finding a way to get that shot to fall after taking the contact. Andrew. Shooting one. A steel count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, <laughs> if, I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an oh. irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Free throw line. Andrew! Really a good job recognizing the mismatch. Just going up for the shot with that huge height advantage on that possession. This is a positive trend for me. Much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. Makes the first. Both shots good from the strike. Locked, but no. Yeah, he was giving up a lot of size in that particular matchup, but showed the excellent ability to get off that shot despite the disadvantage in size. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and Clark the other just searching for answers that they could never find. Well, I think these fans too, Kevin, gave their team a tremendous lift. I mean, they never gave up on them. From the opening tip until the end of the game, they were in it, and that certainly helped this crew get to the W. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. Now time to head over to the studio where the award-winning Ernie Johnson is with Shaq and Kenny all standing by. Guys, take it away. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Let us take a moment now to recognize our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. I have to give a big nod to the impact he had through his defense. We know he can turn it up on D when he needs to, but tonight he turned it all the way up. Wow. He was completely on a different level tonight, and his insane point total tells us that. Trust me, it's not easy to get that many points in this league, but he had their number tonight, and the coach did a great job of continuing running plays for him. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Good night, everybody.